All right, welcome back to another episode of The Treasure Hunt. I believe this is episode 25, maybe 26. I don't know if I got that right, but I came back from, I think we went to, I went to like eight thrifts. I came back to three of them with Sod, and I'm recording this right after because I feel like that's going to be better. It's already night time. I like, I did it for like eight hours today, which is pretty much like a full-time job. I only do this, like I only shop like once a day or like once a week maybe twice a week so it was pretty lit it was actually really fun got a fuck ton of shit like bro every week i feel like i'm getting more and more shit i'm definitely exploring um more of the sections now like i wasn't looking at the pants at all but today i i'll start with this i came back with one two three four five pairs of adidas sweats it's pretty clutch like these retail go for about like 40 to 60 to 80 dollars each i kind of wanted this one for myself i was like looking through the sweats today because i realized for personally i was like oh what am i i'm gonna list one of my sweats that i, I had because like it's a large without the, the drawstring and it fit nice but without the drawstring it's pretty ass so I'm thinking someone will buy it for like 10 to 20 bucks. But then I listed that, right? And then that shit's got an offer. So I'm like, bro, maybe people really want these Adidas sweats. So these are all very pristine condition, very nice condition. There was one Adidas sweats I got last year. The bottom was a bit dragged and fucked up, but it's still pretty good condition. I think these will go for like 20, 30 bucks each. But I honestly kind of want to keep I want to keep this one just because it's my size and I'm just going to use it to replace the other Adidas sweats I got. Adidas sweats are pretty much the best sweats that exist, I believe. That's a staple. I mean, there's probably like some like Uniqlo sweats that are decent and shit, but in terms of like performance wise, athletic performance, it's just there's nothing that really competes against Adidas sweats on that level. So even like Nike shit, like. It's not that cool compared to the Adidas shit. And, uh, and in terms of thrifting, dude, Adidas is so easy to find because of three stripes. There's a fuck ton of copycats with the two, but it's just easy to find. And it's just like, I just have to take the time to look through all the quality and shit like that. But that's that's pretty much one of the main reasons I'm coming back with a shit ton of shit. Like, I'm going slower through the jackets too. Because although jackets take up a fuck ton of storage... They have been like a pretty good like money money thing. So I also want to start by mentioning that this fucking Stussy shirt I mentioned last week. Fucking last week I was like, bro, like what the fuck is this? Like Stussy, it kind of looks like Gucci, but apparently it's a fucking collab with Gucci. I found Gucci in the thrifts. Like I was like, bro, what the fuck? But honestly, I'm gonna fucking sell it. Like fuck it. So if you want this, you know, I'll leave a link to my website or my eBay store below. You can probably find it still if you're having or if it's if you're watching this like not that long from now. All right, so now I'll get into the episode. I'm going to go try it kind of fast cuz I got a fuck ton of shit, but I think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the style of this episode is yet. This is the Galloway. Galloway is a very uh expensive like golfing brand. I saw, um, what is that guy? The guy from the office wearing the hat once. And I'm like, oh shit, it's expensive. So I looked it up, it's like 30, 40 bucks. Um, this is like a Merry Christmas um, Disneyland Resort zip up. Obviously it's gonna be hard to sell now because of the season, but I feel like it's pretty nice. McDuck Industries. Some, some McDonald's shit. I got this Jordan Classic. Jordan's easy sell. Jordan quality actually is a bit nicer too. Um, some Nike dry fit. Muppets. Muppets are pretty iconic. We'll see if it sells. I feel like the cult, cult kind of stuff sells a lot better. Uh, Ninja Turtles. I've sold a lot of Ninja Turtles tees in the past. If I think if it has all the turtles on it, all four of them, and it's like a pretty decent design, it's a pretty easy sell. This is a, uh, a fleece, Ralph Lauren, polo, green, purple, and also got uh, blue and red. 
but these are size small, so I'm kind of, I'm probably going to sell it quick. I'm kinda, I kind of don't like getting small and double XL because I personally don't have any use for it. Like, I'm not even going to like, it just fits tight and like, I don't like the fit of it. I also got this, um, this hoodie. This is probably like up there on the grails of what I've gotten today. I kind of want to keep this just because of the fit. It's a Gap Athletic. I didn't know they had this shit, so I definitely kind of want to keep this. And I also got another Gap, but it'll, it'll show up later in the episode. Adidas Tees, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirate shit is always, I'm starting to really fuck with the pirate stuff. I feel like a pirate when I'm doing these like treasure hunts. I'm just fucking, just, just fucking going, you know? I mean, it's lit. Like, I don't know how to explain like how lit thrifting is, but just being, having like a business mindset and like this fashion mindset, like thrifting has fucking been a joy. So this whole day I went thrifting and got a fuck ton of shit. This is a double XL, but it's fucking a lot of shit, a lot of shit. Disneyland Parks, Windbreaker. This is also a double, double XL, but it's fucking clean with the whole ass castle in the back. Fucking nice, guys. Adidas, soccer, like fleece thing. Pretty, very athletic, nice fit. See, these jackets, bro, like six, ten bucks, like nothing. Yoshi flying with the Mario. This one doesn't have the, um, brand tag like there's no mario tag on it or anything but i do think it's a fire looking piece kind of want to keep it but probably will sell pretty quick like mario nintendo just has that cult following so got a thrasher t i know this is gonna sell for sure i was surprised this is like this is actually my first thrasher t i found in the thrifts size medium pretty fucking nice pretty simple color bright uh gray with the thrasher Got an Adidas, Adidas hoodie, thick ass Adidas hoodie. I think this is a uh, XO. Yeah, I kind of don't like this, like personally for myself, just because I think it's such a basic hoodie. It's missing the drawstrings, but I do think since it's such a basic hoodie, it's gonna sell quick. Like there's someone low key looking for that shit right now. Um, Uniqlo, Mega Man. I'm starting to really fuck with Mega Man. I've never played the game. I don't know shit about Mega Man to be honest, but the design of it and the name of it is just fucking lit. So I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Is that good enough of a reason to fuck with it? I don't know. I'm not wearing it that much, so I feel like it's lit. Like Mega Man's pretty fire. Some Nike shit. Some Adidas shit. I got this is my first um, Santa Cruz tee I found. Apparently, but it is authentic, but it does not have any tags. So it kind of blows, but it's a fucking. I think it's a medium. I mean, a small, which kind of sucks too. But I want to test the market of that and see if it'll sell. I don't know. I just I kind of wanted to get it just because like it was the first Santa Cruz tee I I found, and I fuck with Santa Cruz like. My first cruiser was a Santa Cruz, and I rode that shit so much in Riverside. Like, I don't know. Skateboarding is lit, man. It's pretty lit. I might skate later. Uh, uh, some Nike. Dragon Ball. I have, I'm, I'm gonna watch episode one soon, but. Fucking Dragon Ball. It's fire artwork. Super Saiyan human. The black and white tie-dye. I kind of do want to mess with mess around with tie dye. Recently, I bought um, a pink tie dye thing, and I want to I want to fuck around with it. Got this tie dye Bob Ross tee. This is another Bob Ross tee I have that's been sitting, so I was a little bit worried when I was picking that up. But I think if since it's like all like fucking like tie dye and shit, it's pretty fire. Nike, more Nike shit. This Nike stuff, like some of it, I'm I'm kind of doing testing out the waters with some weirder stuff, but I have mostly been selling my Nike shirts as a lot of like five low key, a lot of two, so it's been easier to sell, and I've been making more money off it that way. Um, cause if I sell it just one shirt, even for like ten bucks, 
I, I bought it for two bucks, shipping it for four bucks, something like that. I'm only making like four dollars profit. But if I could sell two for twenty bucks, and it's like, I just add on another like four dollars profit for that, which is pretty nice. Um, Marvel Disney tea, pretty clean. Forty Niners, Colin Kaepernick. We'll see how this does. It's kind of like outdated a bit, but I feel like there's got to be a, a crowd for this. I feel like Kaepernick is a cult type of player. If you fuck with him, you fuck with him, but he's not, as an athletic performance player, he's not, um, I don't even know if he's still playing. Adidas, Jackie Robinson jersey, pretty fire. Kind of want to keep this, but I think I'm going to sell it pretty easy for like 20, 25. Um, Nike jacket. Um, it's weird with the fucking thing right here. There was a couple. There was another one that was weird too. That was um, a Trojans. And I'm like, I don't know how those do or how these do on the eBay market. I'm a bit worried. But it is very clean. Nike piece. There's no like scratches or anything, or, like holes or anything like that. So, Nike shit. This is the other gap I found, and that's actually all the clothes. Can I, sh can I show you the, the mountain cat? I'm pretty sure I showed the mountain cat. That's actually a fucking thing at the mountain cat right here. I don't know if I show you. On eBay, there's only one that was selling, and it was a blue one, and it was like 50 bucks. So apparently this is a vintage hat, so it's pretty fire. I like it. I've been a mammoth. And I haven't done any snow things unless he's skiing. The mammoth is skiing, but I've only gone hiking and fishing there. And it's pretty sick. So I think, th yeah, honestly, this hat, this hoodie, probably the best two pieces I found today. I kind of don't want to list this hoodie. Just because I didn't know they have fucking Gap Athletic. And I do fuck with the Gap. But, oh yeah, two more things. Um, first... I want to show this. This is probably the last one I'm going to ever show in the Treasure Hunt series. Pretty much, this is kind of weird because every episode, I, I told you my strategy. And then the next week, I was like, fuck, I kind of switched it up a bit. And this week, I definitely fucking switched it up. Um, I kind of got some insights on some things. Maybe not everyone knows it. It's kind of a cheat, kind of a cheat code, kind of a trick uh, i don't know if i want to spill the beans because i don't know if everyone's gonna figure it out maybe we will like i'm talking about pokemon cards right now i'm talking about these pokemon cards like like when they first dropped they were going for ten dollars a pack and shit i probably should have sold a couple there but recently i sold a pack i i like i said i was gonna keep these for like 20 years or some shit but i sold a lot of 20 20 cards or 20 packs for about like four dollars or it was like seventy dollars for it the whole thing about four dollars each so i made my money back a bit on that but i haven't opened any packs yet and i got two pikachus i'll promise you that like that's all i'm saying like like i don't i don't like let's just that's all i'm saying and then the last thing i got is something i kind of low-key been wanting fucking ps2 with all the cables, all everything and shit, thirty dollars. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna beat that shit up for a month, maybe two, and probably list it for like eighty, a hundred. <laughs> I don't know. That shit was crazy. That was the last thing we found. I was with Saad when I found that shit, and I'm like, bruh, that's lit. That's lit. Like I, I also saw Atari today, but it didn't have a tag, and I don't know. It didn't have any cables, so. Maybe I'll, I'll get an Atari in the future, but I don't know any games in the Atari. I don't know. It'll it'll probably. Sh I'm just I'm just putting it out in the world that it's probably gonna show up in the thrifts again, and I'm gonna look up the cables I need, how much it's going for approximately, seeing what kind of games there are, and then like just being ready, just being ready to see it again. So I don't know. A bunch of like I thought this was gonna be a long episode, 13, 14, 15 minutes. It's good. Like. I think I ran through them fast, like, there's just a lot of shit I got, a bunch of basic usual shit, the Nikes, you know, and stuff like that, but, 
pretty good episode or pretty good week this week of thrifting. Definitely, definitely like definitely lit as fuck. So I'm gonna list all that shit tomorrow. I'm probably post this video tonight. Um, I want to show myself this in the future. Screenshot. But that's just the random list um, that I'm gonna be putting in the vault. I don't know if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Those are cards. But the card market has been very fun, very interesting, and I've been spending a lot of time in that. So maybe I'm gonna make a separate channel for that shit. All right, dude, I already do have a separate channel for that shit. I just haven't been posting on it because like, I don't want it to feel like flexing. Like I don't like this stuff that I'm doing right now. It might be flexing, but like I don't want it to feel like that. Like this is a fucking fire piece I found at in fucking Salvation Army, and like it might be fucking nice to you, but I really only got it for six bucks, and like I really like this piece. So a lot of my closet is thrifted, a lot of it isn't, and I like that nobody knows which. But, I mean, now, now since I've been posting some of these Treasure Hunt episodes, people will know which pieces have been thrifted and shit. But honestly, fuck it, bro. If you want to think all this shit's thrifted, that's lit. If you want to think I never thrifted, that's lit. Like, I feel like my, I feel like my closet is just getting OP. I'm, like, really getting comfortable with just, like, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. Like, it's a fucking shirt. It's a fucking piece of clothes, bro. It's a fucking piece of cardboard in a, in a plastic case. Like, just sell it if you want to fucking sell it. Like, don't overthink it. And that's just a message to myself. Maybe it's a message message to you too. If you got some shit that's just sitting there, you're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, just sell it, bro. Like, easy, easy money. So, that's it for this week. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have a good week too. Adios.